Good evening, class. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening, good evening, everyone. Good evening. It's good to Peace. see you. Thanks, God. We are alive, right? Yeah, I was watching the news about the big accident, the big collision. That was terrible. But thanks, God, we are good, right? <laughs> and it's good to see you. Well, it's our class number 10. Today is Tuesday, March 14th. And I'm going to share with you the topic of today's class. Today, we are going to learn questions with how, okay? So we're going to study how questions. And, and we have, yeah, it's my class number 10. We have two objectives. In the first objective we have, in this conversation, the use of questions with how will be introduced by asking about distance and measurement. By the end of this session, you will learn to ask and answer questions with how. Okay, we have recording previous knowledge, questions with how, practice, let's practice, and wrap up. And in this moment, it's the time to take the attendance. So it's time to say present or here. I'm going to start with Ana Marisol Zamora Castillo. Is she in the class? I guess she's not. Ana Patricia Garcia de Sanchez. Present teacher. Thank you, Ana. Benjamin Alejandro Quijada. I'm here. Thank you, Ben. Brenda Adriana Mendez Mendez. Present, Miss. Thank you, Brenda. Brenda Isabel Castro Ruiz. Present, teacher. Brenda. Brian Steve Roda Hernandez. Present, teacher. Thank you, Brian. Claudia Isabel López. Thank you, Miss. Thank you, Claudia. Daniela Magali Asensio. Edgar Fernando Portillo. Present teacher, good night. Good evening. Elisa López. Present Miss, good evening. Thank you. Elsie Patricia de Jesús. I am here, teacher. Thank you, Elsie. Francisco Villafuerte Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Griselda Moreno de Bonilla. Present teacher. Okay. Jacqueline Liliana Enriquez Cruz. Jacqueline Liliana. Janet Carolina. Jocelyn Natalia Mancia Zamora. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Jocelyn. Karen Xiomara Lopez Rivera. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Karen. Karina Yasmin Nuila. Present, teacher. Thank you, Karina. Carla Melissa Colocho Santos. Carla Melissa. Leslie Orellana Hernández. Lucía Elena Cepeda Herrera. Margarita Villadito Díaz. Present teacher. Martín Estrada. Martín. Miley Alvarenga. Thank you. Michelle Díaz. Hello, teacher present. Hello. Roberto Carlos Weyer. Present teacher. Thank you, Roberto. Roberto Eduardo Escamilla. I'm here, present teacher. Nice. Selma Peña. I'm here. Thank you, Selma. Victoria Ingrid Leal. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. Thank you so much for connecting on time, people. Well, let's start the class then. We have, as I told you, uh, the recalling previous 
knowledge or recalling previous class. Yesterday, we were learning about comparative, superlative, and I was checking homework and you did a great job. Let me hear me. Uh, I can see that you understood the topic. <clears throat> yeah, there was just like a few errors, but that's normal because they're not perfect. And today I have prepared this question. So I need you to discuss the questions in a small groups because I need you to practice your speaking skills. So I'm going to send you these questions. Uh, in the group, so you can practice them, ask and answer questions in the small groups. Uh, the first question is, what is the weirdest thing you have ever eaten? Weirdest thing you have ever eaten, maybe raccoon or crocodile or I don't know, aquacin. <laughs> The weirdest thing you have ever eaten. And number two, what is the farthest place you have ever visited? The farthest place. Russia, maybe? <laughs> or United States? Who knows? Who is the most fascinated person you have known? What is the most beautiful place you have ever been? What is the most difficult topic you have studied in English? And what is the most sentimental movie you have watched? So you will ask and answer these questions in, the, in a small group. If you have problems with your internet in the group, you can participate via chat. I, I visited Guatemala, teacher. Great, and see that is hard. And it's two, and it's two. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, so you will speak about it. You will have the opportunity to speak in the small groups. Okay, so please join the groups. Ah, just one thing. If you have problems joining the rooms, you can stay in the main room and you work with the other people that are in the main room. I will say it in Spanish. Si tienen problemas para ingresar a la sala y hay otros más que estén en la sala principal, puede, puede hacer ese grupo, ¿verdad? En la sala principal puede practicar con los que están. Ok, so let's start, please. Okay, Brenda, you can stay here. Lo vuelve a mandar o no sé. Si no pueden ingresar a la sala, los que se queden aquí pueden trabajar juntos.
¿Qué tenemos que hacer? Dicho, yo acabo de entrar. En el grupo de WhatsApp les acabo de hacer unas preguntas. Van a, van a hablar, van a contestar, las, preguntar y contestar. Ask and answer those questions. Ahorita estoy... Voy a ver la imagen para responder. Va, sí, porque yo ahorita estoy como estoy traduciendo. Este, voy por la número tres ahorita. En la tres le dice, ¿Quién es la persona más fascinante que has conocido? Ah, ok. Eh, bueno, um, es que las respuestas en inglés son las que tenemos Exacto. que dar. Ahí, Entonces, ajá. tendríamos que ver my... The most fascinating person I know is. Lo mismo va a decir. Para mi, que no my daughters. Okay, the most fascinating person I know is my daughter. Así va. My daughters. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Y esa, eh, teacher, esa respuesta prácticamente sería para todas, ¿verdad? Yes, for example, you can say the mo the farthest place I have visited is what am I? Hmm. El lugar más lejos. Mm -hmm. hmm. uh, what is teacher? Another? Teacher, perdón, teacher, sería the farthest place I have. I have. Mm -hmm. I have I, visited in I have visited is Guatemala. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, the farthest place I have visited is Guatemala. Mm -hmm. Okay. Entonces, eh, la, la que sigue, what is the worst thing you have ever eaten? Eat in? Ajá, the weirdest thing you have ever eaten. What is the you have ever eaten? Ahí sería, the weirdest, I... The weirdest thing or the weirdest food. Mm -hmm. The weirdest food I have eaten is raccoon. Mm -hmm. Mapache, right? Raccoon. <laughs> <laughs> the weirdest thing. Teacher, the word is thing I have. I have eaten. Mm -hmm. The word is thing I have eaten is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Por la cuatro. What is most beautiful? Play, play. You have ever been. Is I don't know, very, very friendly, is very um, is it uh, means how do you say el alma de la fiesta? <laughs> it's a party, a party song. Okay, it's, party. <laughs> okay uh, my mom. In my case, I am a little introvert, and because for me, my mom is the person more fascinant. Excellent. Okay, uh, the next Good question. relationship. Yes, yes, is my my mom is my best friend. Uh, my friends, I think my friends 
loves more my mom than me <laughs> than me. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> because she she is a special woman. Okay, and the next question is what is the most beautiful place you have ever been? Wow. Bastante mentirosita, sí. Oops. Ya valimos, bicha. I don't remember the girl. <laughs> the teacher is the best. They are so not. Yes. Just continue from <laughs> Okay, what question are you discussing? The second. The second. What is the farthest place you have ever visited? Yes. I'm going to visit it with uh, uh, Mexico. Okay. Mexico, did you go by plane or by bus or by car? How did you get there? I remember in the airport. The you airport. Went, you went by yes. airplane? Yes. How many hours was your, your travel? I don't remember, coach, but in case, uh, um, how the Three hours, it depends. Uh, because the scale, the escala, when I use, ¿cómo se dice escala, coach? Like the stop? The stop, uh -huh. when I stop, uh, you're left. <laughs> okay. Okay, so the farthest place you have visited is Mexico. In my case, I I once visited Guatemala. Okay. In my case, too, once I went to Pewaya Island. Hawaiian, Hawaii. No, Piraya. Ah, Piraya Island. It's very far away. <laughs> Yes, coach, but it's the question uh where is yes. where is the the place? <laughs> okay. Where is the place there? But I don't remember. <laughs> okay. Well, the the farthest place I visited is Equilco. It's in Guatemala and it's near oh. the border of Mexico. So we uh, we went by car and there were sixteen hours. Sixteen hours. And the second farthest place was also in Guatemala, but this is called uh, Santa Catarina El Quiche, and there were twelve hours. Twelve. No, actually fourteen. 14 hours. <laughs> we left El Salvador like that 12 hours because we left El Salvador around 1 p.m. and we arrived at 12 a.m. the next day. <laughs> Very far away. Okay, the other question. Who is the most fascinated person you have known? Hello? Selma, Jacqueline. Hello? Hello, teacher. Todavía no le hemos resuelto. Yeah, but you can discuss. Um... My beauty person coach. <laughs> you, you are the most fascinating <laughs> person. <laughs> That's great. La primer teacher in English. 
La primera sería Anne First. Sí, pero también puede ser como English. alguien más fascinante. Ajá. Pero por ejemplo. Que tenemos. ¿Cómo la podemos poner esa? La tres. Eh, dice my, que la persona. Eh, my, podemos poner my teacher. My teacher de, de English. Mm. Pero para ser la primera, my first teacher, la primera teacher de English. Sí. Ajá, la, la teacher. The teacher. Ah, bueno, aquí está, aquí está, la, aquí está la teacher. ¿ves? ¿Nos puede ayudar? <ríe> yeah, Ajá. Answer for question number three. Three. Yes. Okay. Yes. You can say the most fascinating person I have known is my first English teacher. My first English teacher. Yes. The most fascinating person I have Okay. The most okay. my first English teacher. Hello, people. Did you finish all the questions? Hello, teacher. Estuvimos practicando y yeah. ahorita estamos en pausa. <laughs> ah, ok. So you finished. Ya finalizamos. Great. Pero me estaba viendo que solamente vamos a practicar la respuesta, ¿verdad? La pregunta y la respuesta. Yes, ask and answer the questions. Yes. That's right. I would like to know what is the weirdest thing you have ever eaten. Eh, no le entendí mucho al tiempo. What is, what is the weirdest thing you have eaten? The question what number one. Oh, ah, is el lugar. En Guatemala. Ah, el más raro. <laughs> Sorry, Brenda. Yes, Griselda. Eh, República Dominicana. No, no, but the question What is the weirdest thing you have eaten? La cosa más extraña que ha comido. The weirdest thing you have eaten. Ah, que he comido. Yeah. He comido. Yeah, that you have eaten. La pacaya. <laughs> Eso no me gusta. And you don't like it. You don't like pacaya. <laughs> okay, sí. interesting. Well, we're going to finish here and we're going to come back. Okay? Okay. Okay, just one announcement. At 8.30, uh, in five minutes, you will receive an announcement from one person, from one uh, representative from Inglés Corporativo. Okay, so one person will connect, and uh, her name is Mayra Rodriguez, and she will give you an announcement, okay? Important information. So I'm telling you, so that you can stay here in the class. Well, so I would like to know, guys, your ideas, your opinions. I'm curious. So I would like to know about the answers of your questions. Yes, Elsie? 
Eh, teacher, en la número 6, donde dice, what is the most sentimental movie you have watched? Eh, sería, la respuesta estaría bien, the most sentimental movie I have watched is Ghost. Yes, that's correct. Uh, thank you. You're welcome, Elsie. And thank you for the answer. You already <laughs> told us about that. Uh, well, on one of the most sentimental movies I have watched is Hachiko. Ah, yes, a divina. <laughs> and also, I see three, three or four. <laughs> you always cry. <laughs> yeah. Oh, life is beautiful. La vida bella. La vida es bella. Life is beautiful. Ah. It's also very sad. Okay, what is the weirdest thing you have ever eaten? Eh, esa es the worst food I have eaten is um ay, es que el, el, los, lo, el sushi no sí ah. sí creo que es el sushi <laughs> okay. okay um I think the worst thing I have ever eaten raccoon my grandmother gave me when I was a little girl raccoon my pet raccoon that was the weirdest thing are you serious yes it's true but it, my grandmother didn't tell me she just gave me meat right but they told me that it was raccoon oh poor raccoon <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Why they are extinct now? Okay, second question. What is the farthest place you have ever visited? Opinions, comments, participation. The farthest place. Spain, Russia, China. What is the farthest place you have ever visited? Uh, me, teacher, the farthest place I visited was a uh, canal of Panama. The Canal of Panama. Canal of Panama. It's right. a beautiful place. Yeah. Interesting place in the history. Very interesting place. Okay. And how many hours did you did did it take you? How many hours did it take you to get there? Did you go by plane or by bus, by car? No, uh, by plane. By plane. By plane. I stay. Uh, three days in this place there. And, uh, and another business in fuimos en un, en un tourcito uh, we go in uh, in in tour you went on a tour okay in tours yes thank you patty okay who is the most fascinated person you have known uh, the most My ex. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, that was Benjamin? Yeah. What can you repeat what you said? My ex BF. <laughs> US best friend. <laughs> okay, Benjamin. What is the most beautiful place you have ever been? Okay. Most beautiful place. Yeah, a beautiful place. My Damn. beautiful place beautiful is Guatemala, place. teacher. Okay, Guatemala. Good. Okay, next interesting question. What is the most difficult topic you have studied in, in English? Timber to be. The bird to Phonetics. be the first one. The adjective. In my case, the verb in past. Verse in past. Because the pronunciation, I don't know. I I, I can't the the correct pronunciation because uh sometimes sometimes it's I, I don't know. It is very difficult for me. Uh, it and <laughs> 
For me, the most difficult uh, topic is phonetic. Phonetic. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And the conditional. Very nice. And the last question, what is the most sentimental movie you have watched? Oh, well, you already said, right? But now that I'm The most sentimental movie, Amen, Cal Otto. Thank you. Thank you, Anna. <laughs> Guys, Mayra is here. She's going to give you an announcement. Okay, Mayra. Hola, muy buenas noches, queridos estudiantes. Este día he venido a darles un comunicado. Y es el siguiente. Estamos en la tercera semana de clases, por lo tanto, ustedes ya deben de haber completado eh, la sección 4 de su plataforma, ir, digamos, a mediados de la quinta, ¿verdad? De igual manera, recordarles lo que sería la documentación de reinscripción, envíenla y envíen también lo que sería el comprobante de la, del manual, el comprobante del manual. Recuerden que si no envían el comprobante de manual, nos estará gestionando la reinscripción hasta que lo puedan enviar. Las notas de plataforma también poder enviarlas, por favor, y poder estar pendientes, ¿verdad? De cualquier mensajito, notificación que les llegue, ya sea el grupo de WhatsApp o por privado. Así que ese es más que todo el comunicado, estimados. Por favor, no se les olvide, comprobante de manual, documentos de reinscripción y las notas de plataforma, por favor. Muchísimas gracias. Gracias, Miss. Gracias. Ok, gracias. Gracias. Thank you. Thank you, Mayra. Thank you. Solo, solo, tenía, una solo tenía una pregunta. Yo, eh, yo también. Mayra. Eh, Mayra, por aquí tienen algunas preguntas para usted. Dígame, dígame, pero un poquito rápido porque tengo sí, que entrar a otro grupo. Okay. Sí, dígame. Solo cree que nos pueden mandar nuevamente el formulario a, a, a WhatsApp para poderlo imprimir y, y llenarlo. Perfecto. El día de mañana van a estar recibiendo de nuevo el formulario por medio del grupo de WhatsApp. Ah, ok, gracias. Yo se también una pregunta para Mayra. Eh, cuando se refiere a evidencia de notas de plataforma, ¿cómo sería eso? ¿Tomarle captura a, la, a, a, a lo que vamos avanzando? ¿O cómo? Correcto, al progreso. ¿Y mandárselo a, a, al grupo o personal? Al grupo. Recuerden que ustedes, eh, creo que la gestora que les está dando seguimiento es Flor. Si ella está ahí pendiente de ustedes, a ella le estarían enviando la, la información. Ok, gracias. Ok, so, after that, guys, we have to continue. And let's go into the topic. Well, guys, now we have here a conversation, which is that's crazy, it's between Alberto and Lily. So I need volunteers to leave the conversation. Or maybe one, and I can be the other one. Okay, I'll see. No sé si va a escoger a alguien para que lo lea o no sé. Yeah, LC and somebody else. Okay, it's okay. One more person. Okay. Roberto Carlos, he raised the hand. Yes. Okay. okay. Uh, so, Roberto, you start. Okay. okay. Hi, Lily. <laughs> Hi, Lily. Hi, Lily. You're from Canada, right? Are you going to Toronto in January? Actually, I am from the USA, but I went to school in Toronto. Winter there can be pretty cold. How oh, cold is on average? Um, I think the average in January is around 20 or maybe 25. 25 degrees? Bye, that's right. 25 degrees Fahrenheit, that's about minus three or four Celsius. M minus three or four? Minus. That's missing. 
Oh, come on. There's a not to call. At least not where I am from. Really? Where are you from? Well, I live in Fire Banks, a lot around 300 miles from Toronto. That, let me check on my phone. Yes, that's a baru. Ah, well, four thousand, four thousand eight hundred, four thousand kilometers. Wow, so it's colder than Toronto. It's much colder than Toronto. It's the coldest city in the United States. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Okay, so yes, we we call that degrees, right? Twenty or maybe twenty-five degrees. And we say minus three or minus four. Okay, very nice. Miles, 3,000 3, miles, 4,800 kilometers. Okay, so they are talking about a place. They are talking about Toronto or Toronto. And um, Alberto wants to know how cold is it on average? And it's around 20 or 25 degrees Fahrenheit, right? Very, very cold. Minus three or minus four Celsius. But there is another place which is colder. And it's, what is the coldest, what is the, a colder place than, Tor than uh, Toronto? Fairbanks. Fairbanks, exactly. <laughs> yeah, Fairbanks, Alaska. Very nice. So we can see here how we can ask. We have questions with how. What is the first question with how? How cold, how cold is, is it? it? How cold is it? And it's, ¿qué tan helado es? Right? How cold is it on average? How cold? Huh? Very nice. So we have questions with how, for example, how cold is Toronto in the winter? It gets winter. down to minus mm -hmm. 25 degrees Celsius. <clears throat> Imagine it gets in, in the winter, it gets down to minus 25 Celsius. That's pretty cold. How hot, how hot, like in El Salvador, right? How hot is San Miguel or how hot is San Salvador? How hot is Fairbanks in the summer? It gets up to about 20 degrees Celsius. How far is the distance? So we can say meters, kilometers, or miles. How far is Toronto from Fairbanks? It's about 4,800 kilometers. How big? <laughs> how big means que tan grande? How big is Seoul? It's 605 square kilometers. How high, right? How high is Mount Everest? It's 8,848 meters high. How long, que tan largo, how long is the Mississippi River? It's about 3,700 kilometers long. Okay. And how deep is the Grand Canyon? How deep, que tan profundo, how deep is the Grand Canyon? It's about 1,828 meters deep. So if you notice, when we say how cold, we have to use a um, measurement of temperature. We use here Celsius, but in other countries use Fahrenheit. But in our country, we use Celsius. For cold or hot. And distance, how far, what is the measurement that we use. What is the measure that we use? Kilometers or miles? Kilometers. In El Salvador, we use kilometers. We also use meters. And B, uh, we can use kilometers too. Kilometers. Or, mm -hmm. How high? 
we can use meters and we say meters high. Aquí sería 8,848 metros de alto. How, meters high. And, and here we have to specify kilometers long and meters deep, de profundidad. Okay, so we say how cold, que tan helado, que tan frío, how hot, que tan caliente, how far, que tan lejos, how big, que tan grande, how high, que tan alto, how long, oh. que tan largo, how deep, es cuán profundo. Okay? Yeah? Yeah. So far so good? Yes, teacher. Okay. Now here we have other questions with how that you know, for example, how old are you? How old are you? 33. How tall is she? ¿Qué tan alta es? Pero una persona. How tall is she? About two meters, she's very tall. How big is your van? It sits 11. ¿Qué tan grande es tu camioneta? Y le dice, si, ay, tiene, si, tiene para 11, para que 11 personas estén sentadas. It sits 11. So it's very big. How tired are you? How tired are you? Not very tired, or you can say very tired. I just want to lie on my bed. ¿Qué tan cansado estás? How thirsty are you? ¿Qué tan sediento estás? I'm very thirsty. Or how hungry are you, Roberto, at 8.42? How hungry are you? <laughs> Teacher, I'm very hungry in this moment because I didn't have dinner before the class. <laughs> uh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, sorry. How soon will they be ready? ¿Qué tan pronto van a estar listos? In about one hour. How soon? How well does he speak Urdu? ¿Qué tan bien habla él Urdu? Not very well. Or how well do you speak English? Not how... very well. <laughs> Don't believe you. How Quickly can you finish? ¿Qué tan rápido puedes terminar? How quickly can you finish? I can finish by 3 p.m. So in this case, the structure is we have how plus adjective. How old, how tall, how big, how tired, how thirsty, how soon, how well, how quickly, and we have more. How cold is an adjective. How hot, how far, how big, how high, how long, how deep. So you can make questions with how. The only thing is, after how, you need to add an adjective. Can you make other questions using how in an adjective? I... Hard question, teacher. How? Questions with how. The how, how. Is the how? Es, es específico para personas. No, solo para, para personas. Cosas, también para cosas. Vale, y entonces, ¿cuál es la diferencia con el anterior? No, no hay diferencia. Es la misma estructura. How. Y luego le sigue un adjetivo. No, el adjetivo. El adjetivo de alto. Usted mencionó ah. anteriormente que era alto el, el Monte Everest. How high. Uh -huh. Ajá. Y ahora está diciendo que es alta la persona. How, how tall. Tall. Va. Entonces, how tall es specific para people. Solo yeah. para personas. Or it could be also for building. Yeah, you can also use it for. But we usually use all for things. Usually. You can use it for things too, but we usually use it for people. Uh, okay. 
But and yes, you can see how tall is that building. Hmm? Okay, questions? Examples of questions? Uh, teacher, uh, is correct if I say how fast can you finish? If, yeah. We can say it. Okay. Oh, how fast can you go with this car? Oh, okay. Oh, uh, or how bad you are with math or math? <laughs> I don't know, something like that. Okay, how bad are you at math? <laughs> Other question? How is how big are is your you? house? Uh, I couldn't understand. How sleepy are you? Excuse me, Michel? How sleepy are you? Ah, okay. How sleepy are you? <laughs> the most popular, how are you? <laughs> yes. Okay, very nice. How happy are you? Are you very happy? <laughs> well, we're going to practice a little bit. Um, okay, in the next slide you have here, you need to write the questions to these answers. For example, the answer is Niagara Falls is 52 meters high. So what is the question, guys? How high oh, is the Niagara Falls? Great. How high is the Niagara Falls? And number two, California is about 423,970 square kilometers. How long? How far? Oh. No, How los long? squares son cuadrados. Entonces está preguntando. No dice long. How big? big. How big? How, How big, 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 is? big is California? Is California? Is California. The Nile River is six thousand six hundred seventy kilometers long. How long? How long? How long is the Nile? How long is the, is the Nile? Is the Nile. Osaka oh. is about 400 kilometers from Tokyo. What's that? How far? How far is Osaka from Tokyo. It's yeah. like if I ask you, how far is San Salvador from uh, Santa Or how far is Santa Ana from Santa Do you know? How? Oh. How far is Salvador? How far is her Mexico City in the summer? Yes, actually, that is the next question. But I'm how not... hot? How hot is the Mexico City in the summer? No, me escucharon la pregunta que les hice. No, teacher, repeat, please. How? Sí. We don't know the answer. La distancia de kilómetros entre San Salvador y Santa Ana. Yes. Sí, no sé, yo solo sé la de, la de Sonsonate para San Salvador. Okay, how long is it? 105. Um, how far? ¿Cómo se dice 69? Uy. <laughs> 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. 
Okay, guys, with this exercise now you are ready to complete the section four, right? And, well, I have more exercises here. We'll see them in a moment. Just give me one moment. Okay. How question? Okay, people, you are going to help me. What is the question for number one? It takes me an hour to get to work. How long? How long? How long? How long? No quiere decir que tan largo. Quiere decir en tiempo. En tiempo. ¿Cuánto te tardas? ¿Cuánto te toma? How long? En tiempo. How long does it take you to get to work? It takes me an hour to get to work. Okay. Frozen. What is the question? How cold? How cold? How cold? How cold? How cold? How cold? Okay, How. 62 meters or meters. How high? How, How high. high? How high? Okay, how high? How high. It is extra large. How big? How big? How big? How big? How big? How big? Okay. Warm. How hot? How hot? How hot uh, is Sonate in the summer? How hard? Very hard, right? <laughs> okay, I am 25 years old. How old? How old? How old? How old? How old? Three meters deep. How deep? How deep? How deep? How deep? How deep? A lot of water. How much? How much? How many? How much? How much? How many? How much? How much? How much? How much? Remember, water is uncountable. Mm -hmm. It is two blocks from here. How far? How far? How far? How far? How far? Seven cars. How many? How many? How many? How many? Excellent, you got it correctly, people. Very nice, congratulations. And let me show you the next one, okay? The next exercise. It's also about how questions. Okay, ah, let's see. <laughs> It's the same one. Excuse me, guys. It's loading, guys. So how is this topic? Easy, difficult? How difficult is this topic? It's, it's, it's a piece of cake, miss. It's a piece of cake. Okay. <laughs> That's good to know. That's good to know. It's very easy, right? It's not difficult. Well, I'm I think I'm I'm having a problem with this exercise. I don't know what happened. Yeah, I the, yeah, it does. Okay, we are going to change them.
Mm -hmm. I had a problem with the exercise. It didn't load. So guys, can you give me more examples of questions? What about if teacher. I say how, how cold you? How? Uh, how cold you? Like, uh, how cold you? C-O-U-L-D. How cold you? Oh. Hold on, let me, let me put it in the chat. Yeah, please. I don't know if it is correct if they put it like this. How cold you? Let me see. How could you? Ah, okay. Como podrías tú? But it's not. Okay, the structure that we studied today is how plus a, an adjective. How plus an adjective. Mm -hmm. How lovely could it be? Hmm. An example. How? How lovely. How lovely, yes. Yeah, it's correct. Mm -hmm. Very good. Well, I'm, uh, I'm going to send you later, maybe if I find if I find it the exercise because I had a problem with this one. But we can make a review of today's class, right? Also, I have here class, uh, this uh, activity that you can do it as homework. In this exercise, as you can see, it's about writing an article about a play. I would like one person to read this paragraph. Maybe Daniela Magali, you raised your hand some minutes ago. Daniela Magali, could you please read this paragraph for all the class? Yeah, the paragraph, one of the most interesting things to see in Brazil. One of the most interesting thing to see in Brazil is the play where two rivers meet, but do not. They are the wild summer river and the black. Never river the flow next to a other four six kilometers. Mm. In the Amazonas state. In the Amazonas state, but the color of the water don't miss because of different Temperature and temperature? speed. Temperature and the speed. The signal river is faster in color than the Negro River after several kilometers. The two rivers become part of the lower Amazon River. Yeah, thank you, Angela, for your reading. So this person is writing about an interesting uh, thing in Brazil, which is that two rivers get this very interesting about these two rivers who um, they flow next to each other, but they don't meet, right? The colors of the water don't meet because of the temperature. Nice, very nice. So as you notice, this person is using a measurement like six kilometers and also using comparatives, right? It's faster in cooler. 
So um, I would like you to investigate about a place in our country, in El Salvador or in another country that you think tourists would like to visit. To be beach, desert, island, lake, mountain, river, volcano, or waterfall. And we can share in the class the next Saturday. Okay. If you, if it's possible, you can bring a picture of the place. It doesn't have to be so long. Could be just one paragraph. Like in this one, it's just one paragraph. Just one paragraph. But an interesting place could be from our country or from another one. Okay? That's it. Okay. And can you tell me, guys, what did you learn today? Question with how. Exactly, questions with how. And what is the structure of questions with how? How how big is your house? How big is your how house? Old are you? How old are you? Yes, Elsie. How long is this? I have a, I have a question, teacher. Yes, Elsie. Uh, uh, for the homework, uh, a choice of place. You choose the place, yes. Ah, okay, okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, Elsie. Okay. okay, more examples we have. How tall is your brother? Hey, he's very tall. He's one meter and 80 centimeters, 85 centimeters. How big is San Salvador? I'm not sure. But San Miguel is bigger than San Salvador. <laughs> okay, which activity did you like today? I liked the discussion in the group. Okay, the discussion in the group. Okay, when you were uh, practicing, you were speaking. So do I. Great. Okay, people, thank you for connecting to the class. It was a pleasure to see you one more night. Remember that we'll see each other on Thursday. Not tomorrow, but Thursday. Um, teacher, uh, me pasa ahí en la asistencia, please. Alguien más que no lo puse en la asistencia? Quiero ver. Janet Carolina. Janet Carolina. Los que voy a mencionar son los que tengo en rojo. Janet Carolina Rivera, no, no está en clase. Carla Melisa Colocho Santos, vaya, solamente ellas, los demás ya les puse su asistencia. Okay. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.